So I want to talk a little bit about anatomy and how we use croquis for costume design. A lot of costume designers think that you have to draw the body from scratch. It is really important to know how to draw a body. And so one of the things that I do is I keep practicing over and over again, looking at real bodies. And you'll see I have a bunch of images here that we'll be tracing over just so I can get a sense of where the body parts are and what happens when the body moves. A lot of that will change the body position, where the actual arm sits, how far up the neck goes on the face, all of those little things you start observing a little bit more as you get practice. So the first image I'm gonna give you guys, um, and again, these are the images that you guys are gonna be bringing into me. I've brought a couple different variations so that way you guys can see more dynamic poses in addition to something that's a little bit more kind of normal. Um, the other thing that I've tried to do here because costume design really doesn't focus on this enough is different body types and different people of color. So you'll see in a lot of my images, I've used a lot of non-white people. So I have some Asian people, I've got some Indian celebrities. You can kind of see also people with clothes versus people not with clothes. And I've also given you the male poses in addition to female poses. So you'll get a chance to see some of the different things that I'm looking for when I'm tracing over these. Really useful for getting the body down really quick. And it also just helps you start observing how bodies work. I've got some tracing paper here. This is actually marker paper, which is really useful because you can kind of see through it. So with this particular image, you can tell it's a little bit dark and that's okay for this particular assignment. I'm really more interested in getting you guys to see where the body shapes are. And you can kind of see back of her head right here. And you can see her chin is kind of pretty extreme up here. And then the back of her neck, hopefully you can kind of see a little bit of where her actual body is. Now, because this is pretty dark in the image, it's helpful sometimes to print out a little lighter if you have a capability to change the setting on your printer at home, or you can even ask someone at Kinko's to do this, it's pretty easy. I'm checking underneath where her actual arm is. You can see that her bust actually comes out here and she's got a little bit of a twist with her body. I'm starting to see the shape. And again, constantly checking underneath. She's got her arm reaching back here. Now in this case, you can choose to trace all of her fingers. Because I'm trying to get you guys to do this fast, you can even just do a little shape so that's where the arm sits. Okay, now again, I'm not looking for precision just yet. I'm just looking at your way to observe the body. So again, we sort of have one buttocks here. Then it looks like the other one is out here and she's pretty muscular which is great actually for this exercise because you really get to see where the body separates where those major points are now i'm guessing a little bit here because it's starting to get a little dark under my image It looks like she's got her toes kind of curled up here. Now, when we get to the other leg, it's kind of coming from past. And then it looks like this is the back of her leg. This is the ball of her foot. And then we've got her stepping on the ground with the other side. So you can see here, the things that I'm really paying attention to, we're not looking at hair yet. We're just looking at the shape of the body. You can see because she's twisted here, let's take a look and see if we can even see her other arm. So in this original image, it looks like most of the hair is kind of covering her other arm but where the actual back comes from, looks like it's in the right place. So ideally what's happening is in an actual body, if this was straight on, 
her other shoulder is behind here, right? Now we don't ever see that, and that looks kind of weird, of course. I'm gonna erase that for you so you don't get confused. But you're starting to see this is a shape, and there's definitely shapes that I'm drawing. And you can see even down here where I drew the ball of the foot, you know, I actually kind of lightly drew in the ball, even with the actual foot itself. We're made up of quite a few different shapes that are easy to figure out here. And that's usually how I start looking at and observing, okay, what shapes are here? Is it wider at the top? This is sort of a trapezoidal shape for the calf. And you're gonna wanna have it a little more flat on one side. We start seeing the, the bulk of the muscle on a calf muscle tends to be much wider at the top. And then the, the bottom half becomes almost triangle if we're going all the way to the point. Same thing with your upper thigh. This is a little bit more of a rectangular tra trapezoid going out towards the knee. And you can have your kneecap here in, in a circle. And then again, the buttocks is one shape where you kind of have two, two circles here. And you can start seeing that shape kind of makes up that body part. And then the rectangle kind of comes out of it or the trapezoid comes out of the, the butt. Same thing with the other leg, because we're overlapping a little bit, you know, this leg actually comes out from the other part of the body. If you're gonna draw a line to create the shape you're going straight all the way from her head and she's sort of doing a curve. So if we were to do this shape on the side, that's kind of the shape we're going for, right? We've got sort of a curve that follows. And when you look at the head and when you look at the neck, you wanna make sure that her body is following that. Right, so if I was to draw a little miniature of this, now I'm getting really small shapes down really fast. You know, my one leg is out here and then the other leg kind of sweeps that way to follow that curve. So again, the, the trick of the eye is that we don't necessarily need to see every single detail. So perfectionism is not the idea here. You wanna try and get just the basic shapes. And again, use the body underneath to your advantage you're gonna be drawing clothes over top of this. One of the reasons I want you guys to look at different poses that are a little bit more dynamic like this is because a lot of times with costumes, you have to draw the body that is appropriate to that type of theater or that type of entertainment. So for something like this, you know, maybe this is a more appropriate pose for a dance piece or a Cirque du Soleil piece or an acrobatics piece. So something like this really shows us the costume, but it also gives you a sense of who that character is and what world they're in. And that's very important with costume design. Look at the context in addition to the actual character. Let's move on to another one.